Hey everybody, it's Mr. Jake from the Pittsburgh YMCA here to present today's My Why With Families Challenge. So for today's challenge, we're gonna do a STEM activity that some of you may have done before, um, but probably not at home, an egg drop, which is of course why I have an egg with me. <laughs> I don't normally just walk around my house with an egg. Um, and since I'm working from home and you guys are probably home from school too, I figured why not? Why not still do something together? Uh, so the first step that you need for an egg drop obviously is to ask your adult if it's okay <laughs> if you use an egg because your egg uh, may break in this. Um, and then don't worry, we're going to talk about where to find a safe place to drop our egg and also a place that's clean so we're not going to mess anything up. But uh, the first thing that I want you to do is if you're like me and you get attached to these sorts of things, feel free to go get some markers and uh, draw a little face on your egg. <laughs> <laughs> like I did um, and give your give your egg a name too if you want to I named mine mr. Jake jr. Um, because I'm worried about him I want to protect him in this egg drop uh, so if you are one of those people who's never done an egg drop before you've never even heard of this you don't know what it is don't worry I'm here to talk you through it so the basic idea of an egg drop is that we're gonna build a contraption out of things that we have around our house that we put our egg in and then we're going to drop it and then when it hits the ground, hopefully we built a contraption that is padded enough, cushioned enough, and protective enough so that when we open it up, our little egg friend is just fine. Doesn't have even a single crack on him. So hopefully we'll keep Mr. Jake nice and protected here. Um, so what do you need to get started? Well, that's up to you, but I'll give you a couple ideas of what people normally do. So a lot of times that we do an egg drop, you'll see people use a lot of cardboard. Now the great thing about cardboard is that it, it's, it's flexible, you can bend it around, you can tear it, but it's also rather stiff. So it can be a really good outer shell. Um, but another thing that you're going to want to think about, right, is not just is my whole thing staying together, but again, is it cushioned enough to keep Mr. Jake Jr. protected? And the way that you test that, how well it'll protect your egg, is to squeeze it. And if it's really squishy, when you squeeze it, it's really squishy, that'll probably be more protective and will keep your egg more safe than something that isn't squishy. So when I squeeze this cardboard, it's not that squishy. So maybe I'll use it to keep things together, but it won't be what's mainly protecting my egg. So if you have something like that, that isn't that squishy, but you fold it over a couple times, it creates little pockets of air inside that give it extra squish. So if you're using something like old scrap paper or an old newspaper, crumpling that up and creating air pockets inside like that is another really great way to protect your egg. Now obviously you're going to need the things that keep your whole contraption together, something like cardboard, and then cushion, maybe something like um, old newspaper, but feel free to get creative. I know what I'm going to be using and it is wild. I don't want to tell you guys. I want you to come up with your own ideas. You're going to have great ideas, um, but um, I'm excited to show you what I come up with. But you're also going to need materials to keep everything together. So something like tape, um, you can use string, um, or again, you can be creative and, and find other ways of doing this. So what I want you to do now before we move on to the second part of the video is I want you to go gather up all the things that you want to use to make your contraption. And then I want you to go find an adult and ask them if it's okay for you to use all these things. Right? So if you go get tape and cardboard or maybe you get string and other things, just go show your adult, tell them that you're really excited to do this egg drop challenge, um, and then say, hey, is it okay if I use all these things? And once you get the okay, great. Come on back for part two of the video. Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to part two of today's My Why With Families Challenge, where we're doing an egg drop together. So uh, while you were all gathering up your materials, I was doing the same. Um, and what I came up with, da 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 da, drum roll please. Um, I found this old plastic bag that I wasn't using anymore. Um, and I'm going to put my Mr. Jake Jr. egg inside the bag and wrap it up. And I'm hoping that uh, that adds a little extra layer of cushion and protection for my egg. Um, and I'm going to be putting that in the outside case that I made. 
which is this, out of cardboard. So I found an old pizza box, uh, and I tore it up into some strips, and I rolled one of the strips um, so that it turned into a cylinder that you can see here. So a cylinder is just basically a long circle. And then to keep it from bursting open, I put one strip of tape around the outside to hold it together. And then I got some more cardboard, and I don't know if you can see it in there, I pushed it down in. So now I've got a bottom, so when I carry around my egg it won't fall off. And I folded all the cardboard up in there, I put a couple layers in there, so hopefully that gives it some extra cushion. But I told you all that I had a secret ingredient for this, and I'm not a liar, so here it is. Okay, I'm using something that I have never used for an egg drop challenge before. A hamburger bun. <laughs> I was walking through my kitchen um, and I was looking for things and I was like man I've got cardboard I've got this plastic bag those are good but they're not they just don't they're not as squishy and then I looked over and I had I had a spare hamburger bun so I am gonna be using part of this so it's kind of silly but you just have to be okay with it so I'm, I'm just gonna take the hamburger bun and stuff it into my stuff it into my contraption Okay, great. Hamber hamburger bun is stuffed into the contraption. Um, and now I'm going to take Mr. Jake Jr. in his plastic bag home. I'm going to put him in too. And now, my egg drop contraption, I think is complete, right? But we're gonna, together, ask ourselves those two questions to make sure that we're done. So our first question was, you remember what it was? It was, will my egg stay in my contraption? So I built my contraption pretty narrow, right? It's not that wide. So when I put my egg in there, I'm pretty sure that it's stuck. I'm feeling pretty good that it's stuck. So I'm gonna say, yes, my egg will stay in the contraption. And then our second question, hopefully you remember this too, because hopefully you built your contraption so that it answers this question. Okay, so our second question, if you can't remember, was is it cushioned enough, is it protected enough to keep my egg safe? So I'm not sure, that's why we're gonna test this, but I feel pretty good, I feel pretty confident that um, the cushioned cardboard bottom that I put in with the uh, cardboard walls com combined with my uh, plastic bag and then the hamburger bun, <laughs> which is, again, I, I can't wait to see how that turns out. I think that that's gonna be enough. I'm not sure but we'll find out. So once you've asked yourself those two questions, I want you to do one more thing. I want you to pause the video and please go find an adult again and ask them where a clean and safe place is to drop your egg. Okay, so some people may be able to drop it out of a window on the first story. Some people might be able to drop it out a window on the second story. Um, if your adult doesn't think that that's the cleanest and safest place for you to do it, that's totally fine. You might also do it in the bathtub or if you have a tile kitchen floor or if you've got some grass in your backyard or front yard or somewhere nearby, you can go and just hold out your egg and drop it there. Okay, so please pause the video, go find your adult again and show off what you made, right? Because you should be proud of this and then ask them where a clean and safe place is to do your egg drop. Once you're there, tune back in and we'll do ours together. The third part of today is my Why With Families challenge where we're doing our egg drop. Um, I showed you my contraption in the last part of the video. And then while you were going to talk to your adult to make sure that you both find a safe and clean place to do your egg drop, uh, I came up here to the second story of my house and found a window. So again, if you're not dropping yours out a window, if you're not dropping yours out the second story window, that's totally fine. Remember, you can use a tile floor, you can go outside, you can drop it in your bathtub. Those are all great options. Uh, but mine is gonna be going out the second story window. So um, why don't we, let's, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Okay. So I'm gonna hold it straight out and I'm hoping that when I drop it, it lands on the bottom like it's supposed to. All right, so count down with me. Mr. Jake Jr., I believe in you. I hope that you're okay. All right, three, two, one. Whee! Oh, no! Oh, 
Oh my god, it rotated. Oh no. All right, so we are going outside so that we can check on our egg. I hope Mr. Jake Jr. is okay. Uh, I hope you guys have been having fun doing this with me. All right, so here's Miss. Uh oh. All right. Well, I think I already see some yellow. I don't know if he was all right, um, <laughs> but let's find out. Um, oh no, it's dripping. <laughs> okay. So let's open it up. And remember, if you were successful, your your egg will have no cracks in it at all. So we're gonna look inside. So, <laughs> Mr. Jake Jr. Um, didn't make it through the egg drop. That's okay. Um, I still had fun doing this with you. Um, feel free to share the results. Uh, hopefully, uh, your egg drop went better than mine. Hopefully, your egg was protected. Um, and if so, maybe tell us what you did. Did you use different materials than me? Did you use more of a material? Did you make your egg drop bigger, smaller? Let me know. And then also, please make sure that you clean up. Um, so I'm gonna be coming back out here uh, with a broom to sweep up some of the pieces. And if you don't have something that you need to clean, go ahead and ask your adult and they'll make sure that you can get it done. But thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me today. Um, I wish that Mr. Jake Jr. was okay enough to also say thank you, but he is not. Um, but we'll see you next time.